Welcome back. So in this video I want to talk about custom images in your application because you might be thinking that your design right now it kind of sucks and that's true. So what I want to look at is both the images that come with the home remote and obtaining your own custom images from the internet uh, or from your own files or whatever. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is just attempt to replace this rewind button here with the one that's built into the application. So to do that, it's actually a little bit tricky because uh, the text button is not capable of becoming an image button or a hyperlink button uh, like it would be in uh, if you're coming from iRule or on controls or something like that. So what we actually have to do to start with is delete the rewind button. And this time we're going to come up to image button and controls and draw one of those. If you've watched my previous videos, you know I like to get rid of these margins immediately to fill out the uh, space that it's contained within. Now we do need to relabel this, uh, rewind, uh, but this time instead of putting text, we're going to locate an image. Now uh, we're going to click in the image name box and you'll notice that it drops down, uh, but there's no drop down icon over here on the right hand side. It's a bit of a UI uh, error in here. And in order to get the box to drop down, if you don't know it's already there, you can just click down on your keyboard and do the same function. So we're going to scroll down here to rewind. And you can see our image is populated there now. Uh, one last thing I'm going to do is reorder the image button so it's back in its correct position. You can see that it should be in between the info and pause button. And it's down here at the bottom because we just recreated it. So to move it, I'm just going to click and drag that up. You can see the yellow line there indicating its position when I let go. And now it's back right where it needs to be. So the next thing we want to do uh, is do a custom image. So this one we're going to attack the Netflix button. This is a really common image we use on our remote. And we kind of want it to look nice. And even on our Vizio remote, uh, if you can see that, we do actually have a dedicated Netflix button. Uh, and this is the one that we created some uh, command for in a previous video. So to start we're actually going to do the same thing, go back in time a little bit, delete the Netflix button and then re-add an image button in its place. Kill off those margins again. Do some housekeeping here by renaming it back what it was and putting it back into position where it should be in the list. So now in order to get a good Netflix image we're actually just going to head out to Google and go for a Netflix logo, head over to the images section. And uh, I'm, I'm going to go with this one over here. It's got a nice uh, background. And if you look closely on the screen, you can see that there's actually a series of gray and white squares in the white space of this image. And that actually equates to transparency, which is important uh, so that if you change the background or something like that, you're not going to end up with this white box uh, around the image which can look kind of out of place and trashy if, uh, if your UI doesn't call for it. Uh, this one's also actually nicely trimmed right exactly where it needs to be. So basically all the work is done for us. Uh, they took away the download image button on here unless uh, you've got the Chrome plugin to replace it. Uh, I'll assume that you don't so we're just going to click on it to visit the site and to save the image we're going to right click and just choose save, um, save image as. And this is, uh, the image file name is a .svg, a scalable vector graphic, but it's actually a PNG. Um, so you could rename this whatever you want. I'm just going to rename it to Netflix. And you can see I'm saving it into my pictures folder. You can save it wherever you want. So now we've got the image downloaded. It's time to go back over to the Home Remote Designer. And this time, to load the image, we could do a couple of things. Uh, the first thing we could do is go over to the images list and we could then open our computer to the pictures folder and we could click and copy this existing image of Netflix go over here and paste it in there that would make it available or since we're already going to add it to a button directly we're just going to go over to the image name uh, child property of image and this time we're going to click on the uh, ellipse button located there and we're basically going to do the same thing by navigating to our uh, pictures folder. And there's the image that we downloaded from the internet, Netflix. We're going to choose to open that. 
and it's going to display it in the window just fine. It also should have added it to the images directory. You can see it right there. Netflix gives you a preview. So it's available again now in the drop down list in case we want to add it somewhere else. So that's it for this video. Uh, at this point, you should have some working images. Both the built in is pretty limited in scope, uh, but now you know how to make your own, so you should be good to go. We'll see you in the next one.